I had an opportunity to talk to people about what we should do in relationship to water, I would like them to recognize that this is not a background issue, water. This is the core and the heart of life on this planet. Water is so important for life that when we are searching for other planets where life can be found, the first key element is, is there water on that planet? So that's how fundamental it is. You want to search for life? First search for water, then you'll be able to find life. For the longest time, we really didn't have a full understanding of the molecular connection between water molecules. We looked at it in a, in a Newtonian way. It's just another pieces, and there are pieces of molecules of water. But we now know another understanding of water, and that is this. Even though the water molecules are separate from each other, they're in communication. So water does hold energy. And when we offer a prayer, when we offer our intention into that water, you have to remember, our thoughts are energy, and that our thoughts are not contained in our head, as revealed by what is called magnetoencephalograph. Magnetoencephalograph reads the brain activity with a probe out here. And I said, well, what is the meaning of that? And the answer is profound. Our thoughts are not contained in our head. Our thoughts are broadcast into the field as energy adding to the field. And anything in that field will be connected with our thoughts and connected with who we are. So it's really important for us to recognize we are not separate entities in a world of separate entities. We are pieces of a whole, and everything that we do is participating with the whole. So giving prayer to the water is a real event. We are putting and infusing into the water energy. And so on Water Day, it's a wake-up call and says, do we want to keep life on this planet? Do we want to stay on this planet? Well, if we do, we better look at these resources that we have out here, this water, and why? No water, no life.